Not too shabby. You still need work, though. This ain't over yet. <sighs> Wouldn't have expected any less from you, Diaz. Let's go! We can handle this. <laughs> Chaos Sword! <laughs> Chaos Sword! <laughs> Chaos Sword! <laughs> <laughs> Easier than I thought. Level up! Not too shabby. You still need work, though. This ain't over yet. <sighs> Wouldn't have expected any less from you, Diaz. Let's go! We can handle this. Chaos Sword! <laughs> Dragon Roar! Dragon Roar! <laughs> Okay, so I actually kept this ending part in uh, just mainly because I was excited 
because I killed him twice, which I didn't even think you could do. I thought you could only do it once and then he became impossible. But it turns out you can kill him multiple times. I assume if I had more mana that I would have been able to kill him a few more times. Um, but yeah, there was someone commenting that you couldn't do it. He said he had like a level 99, well, he said level 100 uh, guy. And he was like super buff and he still couldn't kill Diaz. That Diaz would hit him for 5,000 damage and... He was doing diddly squat. Uh, I I kind of believe that. Maybe he just gave up really early. Uh, but because Diaz probably does some type of percentile damage to where he kills you in four hits. But if even one of his hits would have landed uh, properly, then he should have been able to kill him. Like if you do. Uh, it looked like he only has like 9,999 health. So if you just bash him with one head splitter, Diaz should immediately explode. And failing that, even if you're using other moves, Dragon Howl, Dragon Roar, whatever they call it, uh, didn't do a lot of damage, but it still did like 600 or so, I would say. And in the third fight, you saw me land some basic attacks. So, it's entirely possible to kill him. And it's possible to kill him multiple times, which I didn't know. Uh, but yeah, this is really cool. I've never beat him twice before. I knew, I beat him once. Uh, but when that person started commenting that it wasn't possible, I was thinking, like, well, maybe... Maybe I was wrong. Maybe that was all in my head. Uh, but it wasn't. Uh, I don't think it's possible on the original version, so I wouldn't count on that happening, but yeah, definitely in this remake, you can quote-unquote beat him. He'll just get back up and start attacking you with everything recovered, and you don't recover anything, but you can do it, and you also win a bunch of money and experience from it. Uh, another reason why I kept this last part in was because I actually was doing this over and over again, because I noticed that I managed to do damage to him once I hit uh, level 65, 66, yeah, 66. Um, I noticed I could do damage to him, so I just started fighting him over and over and over again. And I was using a save state from the start of the battle, uh, from like that are you prepared thing. And this time on the one that I actually beat him with, I didn't show my stats. So this ending part is to not only show, yes, I did it, and I didn't just cut to someone who's extremely overpowered. It's showing, like, this will show my stats and everything. Uh, but yeah, it's really cool that you can beat Diaz in this one. It's, I mean, it still doesn't do anything because he wins in the end, but hey, it's cool. <laughs>